Would Jackson Pollock have been as successful without the influence of the three art dealers that represented him during his lifetime? A new exhibit at the Pollock Krasner House explores the role the art dealers played in shaping Pollock's career. It revolves around the three art dealers who handled Pollock's work while he was alive. He was handed from one dealer to the next, the first being Peggy Guggenheim. She handled it from 1943 to 1947. There was no market for his work at all when Peggy Guggenheim began, and she really kind of put him on the map. He was taken over by Betty Parsons under contract from Peggy Guggenheim, and that was 1948 through 51. Betty Parsons was an artist herself, and she really understood what Paul was doing. She was very committed to him as a person. She first met him, apparently, in 1946 when she came out here to visit as an artist. And she told uh, her friends and anybody who asked that he sat down on the floor here in this room and did a drawing for her and gave it to her as a gift. She called it the Orchestra of the Insects. And then Sidney Janis took over and he gave him five exhibitions between 1952 and 1958 after his death. Sidney was able to uh, encourage collectors get him into the right collections, uh, museum collections and private collections, and just really a, a good promoter. And that was very, very important. Pollock's Champions is open through October 31st.